Why your name like on a Yeah, because he he was born, saying like, like Tupac long. took his chain. Like his uh, QB chain and with the euphanelia chain uh, that he got, he's saying that Tupac copied his chain and he took the godson thing. So he was trying to make it sound like, like okay, he borrowed that from me and I borrowed that from him. Like we brothers and that's how it went down because he uh, saw my that video. Kind of but that, that was him just trying to put a spin on that. Because there's no way. I'm like, dog, you were trying to be Pac. <laughs> you, I'm like, he one of my favorite rappers in the game, lyrically. But, yeah, you went to Pac. Whole, your whole steez turned to Pac. Yeah, the, after the world is mine. <laughs> yeah. Dude started, he had the bandana. The bandanas and all that. Right, open shirt with the leather the thing on, got yeah. the cross. He had the cross thing on his chest. We got God's son across his stomach. I'm like, what the heck is wrong with this dude, baby? I like that Nas, though. Oh, yeah, I like, like the new CD. <laughs> no, I don't like that shit. That's not original. I don't like that shit. Yeah, but I ain't, I didn't, I'm, I was not a fan of him getting that God's son across his Dang belly it, and doing all that. That's Pac's thing. That's not Nas. Exactly. You know, so when he was doing that, I know what he was doing. He was riding the wave. He was trying to get that East Coast and West Coast, and it was working. They loved that him on the West Coast for that. That's how the murder was my joint. Ooh. <laughs> it's like Sally yeah, like Murray. It was hard to feel like Ray Mercer. Yeah. The final yeah. words of a person. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, what time, the game, what time the game start tomorrow? Oh, probably like tomorrow. Uh, see, what thing is, it just happened so quick. You know, he went and got the the guy's son across his belly and started trying to be like Pac. It was the very next album. I'm like, man, the whole I am. I thought people like called that out like at that time. I was like, okay, like we all seen that. Yeah, yeah. Jarrell, you know, you know, so many tears after this broadcast ends. I gotta talk to you about something uh, that involves that real quick. After the broadcast ends, I gotta talk to you about something. What about right. Tupac? No, no, it's about something else. It's about something else. It was, it was a conversation me and my brother had. It's about something else. Oh, okay. okay. So, you know, what you don't put on the Patreon? What? Oh, man. What do we so got? You know, what's new on the Patreon? I ain't, I ain't been on that. I ain't been on that. Oh, we got, we was talking about the Vince McMahon thing. That's on there. We were talking about. Yeah, uh, yeah. we was in that. Yeah, we was talking yeah. about the Jam Master J. Alive. Yeah, and all the details into that. Then you starting to, now that they arrested yeah, people. Seen yeah, then we got. Uh, you both been putting some naked woman on there, but you ain't put that up yet. <laughs> Which one are you talking about? <laughs> Who? <laughs> we, only thing naked up there is uh, Megan the Stallion foot. <laughs> I seen that once. I was like, uh, I'm good. <laughs> man. <laughs> Why y'all didn't like Fabio verse, though? What was wrong with Fabio? He's robotic, man. Oh, y'all just don't like his style. Y'all don't like his delivery. No. Yeah, Fabio 4. Listen, listen. I, like I mean, I, I, I like Fabio. It's just that, you know, him and Nas, it didn't really fit to me. But I got to listen to this song. You know, you can't listen to one um, like a song for one day. That was, to me, that was you know a big deal for one drill time. For Brooklyn Drill. That was a big deal for Brooklyn Drill with me when you had Fabio and Nas. I was like, that was a big look. Because Pop, 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 Pop Smoke would have been on that album a probably too. Ace Al Ferd did his thing, though. Yeah, Ace Al Ferd did his thing. Um, you know what it is that though? Is uh, is Fabio? I don't know if that's his that's his sound that he's usually on. Like usually he's on those drill uh, sounds. He's on the drill beat. Right. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's on the drill beat. That so sound that he did, that he was rapping to when it was different. It wasn't this type of beat that usually Harold on. The beat didn't fit him. There. Right. Yeah. Oh, and there's another thing I didn't like. Um, Nas double backed on that Deja. Um, what is it? Deja Cat. Doja Cat. With the Doja. Yeah. 
black OJ? Yeah, he was like, oh, I was just trying to rhyme the word mm-hmm. and stuff like that. I didn't mean nothing about it. No, though. this is what this is what I think. This is what like, I, come on, I think that somebody, some young cat, hey, like, yo, make this, like, right, put this in your verse. He was like, who, who, who the, who, listen, who the hell is Doja Cat? Like, oh, right, oh no, 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 no! Nas was that oh, that thing yeah. with Doja Cat and what went on with her. That was like the- major attention at the time. So he would right. put that in a rhyme because that that would come up. Nas is somebody you know. If it's a trending topic, he eventually is gonna see it. You know, so he yeah. writes about yeah. things yeah. that he sees. He, he like has his thumb, like he knows like what's going on. But right, Nas right, does, right. Like, he does it like every now and then. So when she was oh, coming yeah, out doing her apology, he definitely and... hit him with that first record though. He, you can hear he was talking to Jay Z on that first record. Yeah, yeah, I told King's you on oh, King's Disease. Yeah. yeah, when he said King's Disease, I knew this was about Jay. I was like, oh, that's Jay. Because <laughs> I I know what the title is. People, when you talk about King's Disease, everybody talking about they the king of this and he said I made my. I made my riches without um, masonaries and stuff like that. I did, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His yeah. his lyrics were was up par for sure. They they was cool. yeah, of, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, we, was, like, we was expecting that. I missed that. That's good. Season has returned. Shout out Hip Boy. Shout out Hip Boy. He was the the uh, them beats on there was fire too. Yeah, yeah. Was, some uh, of them uh, sound the same. Some of them they had a sound, but it's a younger sound. So I get it. That's why you gotta yeah. get with Hit Boy. I, I even like uh, the Anderson Pack song. That's that's starting to grow. I like, I like Anderson. I like that song. Like yeah, that. but see, that's like, the like thing with Nas. I like, I like that, that Car eighty five. I like Car eighty five. Is right. That that's that's another one. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's but see, that's the beauty. This is what this is what hip hop is about. You see, hip hop songs grow on you. See, nowadays when people yeah. play a song. They play it one time out the one album. Listen, they done. They going on yeah, to yeah, another exactly. album. This how you know if somebody's album. really good. That's what happens when somebody's really good and talented as an artist. They make they people go back to listen to whatever they said. Like they trying to dissect and hear what they saying. That's yeah, how you know you got a great wordsmith and somebody who's making really good music that has yeah, that man. replay value. And these guys don't know how to do it. These There's guys, they, they too busy trying to make the song sound like another song today. so much yeah. that they don't have any substance like the in the records they're making. Yeah, they get three words on that Nas album because they can't words, words. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. All right. All right. I'm with so age don't yep. kill the booth when your flow stays submerged in the fountain of youth. Yep. It's as simple as that. that, that yep. <laughs> the first time I heard uh, the Ultra Black Ultra song, I was like, it's cool. But then I heard it. I heard it today. I was like, "Oh, this song's amazing." Ultra <laughs> black, well, like it sounds good. Like yeah, joke, you know that's I how. Like, you know, that's a, when we like, heard "Old oh, Dirty Bastard" return to the Thirty Six Chambers, I think I had told this story a thousand times. We listened to it. The Bulls was playing the Knicks. I never forget. We was playing the playing, watching the game, and playing the CD. Man, we was like, "Man, this CD suck." I was like, "Man, he done screwed this up." Whoa, whoa, All of us whoa. were saying this. And we all listen to it like, man, he screwed this title up, Return to the 36 Chain. Man, this album is terrible, man. We like, man, this this thing, man, and man, we played that and we kept playing it over. I'm, I'm like, man, by the next day, we were like, this might be the greatest song CD we ever heard. <laughs> I said, man, didn't we? I was like, didn't we just say this sucked yesterday? He's like, yeah, I, what happened? I'm like, I have no you idea. Started, oh, you started close See, dirty that's the thing. You when you first hear an album, the one, a man. lot of these songs, I've never been tucking out. Now, we all, we liked that song from the jump. Now, Brooklyn Zoo was, that was the hit when it first came oh, out. It was the rest of the album. When we heard it, we were like, huh, this, this is all over the place. And then next thing you know, by the next day, we were all singing the lyrics and everything. Like, man, this album is cold. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's the thing. Like, when you first listen to an album, a lot of the lyrics would go over your head. You got to keep listening to it so you can actually dissect the lyrics. I have to listen to it twice. Usually, I don't really have to listen to an album, like, more than once to, like, get it. But this nonsense. The average fan? Me with so much dialogue. I, yeah, I, don't even think I don't even think Nas cuss that much on this album either. Like I was playing. Nah, no, because that's the thing. 
it not and when you got something to say on your mind, you don't really have to curse that much. You know, it's just it's, it's not needed. He, he seems like he he's like a grown up, like you know what I'm saying. It's basically yeah, like it's a mature up. style. He been like that for a while. Yeah. He, been, he been on that I'm grown up. I'm glad he just finally got one because he been hitting misses like for like a couple albums. Nah, he so, really haven't. <laughs> I like, like, I like the, the um, whole, not pick one God. track or two tracks out there. Right, album. Lost about Albums about too. Whole, the general consensus of Nazir like, was a high. Lost yeah. Album too. Nazir album, album, like album, the seven only songs. Like I only like Adam. Yeah, and Adam and Eve was dope. Adam and Eve, I like that yeah. one. I like the Tanasia on the last one. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Lost yeah. Tapes yeah. too. Yeah. You mean the world to be the my song on there? Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. I love the name. 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 Because right. he broke that down too of the uh, on his channel, and uh, I agree with him for sure. With like how Gnostic beats and they're all dope, they're all good, right? Like broke that I, I but see, that's what he started that. picking bad beats like after like maybe the nigga album. No, <laughs> Nas, yeah. Nas don't oh, pick bad beats, it's just that you're not familiar with the beat that he's used to because your brain is programmed to listening to a certain type of beat. Or a certain type of sound. Yeah. This is what you have to do to break the monotony of your stuff sounding all the same. This is what happens Sad. to the Migos and all them. So if they rap on a whole nother beat, you'd be like, man, that sound wack. This don't even sound like Trash. that. Because you're so used to them rapping in the same cadence like the baby. He got the same type of flow and the, the bass drop and everything else. Yeah. So fire though. No, the beat, no, the beat be fired. That's what it is. The beat be fired sometimes. Same beats for like four so or five years. Like four or five years, they have the same eight oh eight beats. And you know what I call that type of music, though. You know what I call that type of music. All that music without a pulse. rap. I call that music without a pulse. Mm. Mm. I mean, yeah. Well, well, for like the last two years, everything for me been drill, drill, drill. Well, you drill has been taking an L lately. Drill been taking an L lately. Drill been taking an L lately. Drill been taking an L lately. So. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, Sino. No, I was saying Drill been taking the L lately. Uh, it had a oh, it had a run when it was like real high. Then it kinda yeah, like yeah. came crashing and down. But now right. it's a I remember when it I remember when it got like, like a lot of people don't know. like the Drake, the Drake yeah, and the uh, Eddie One joint when he rapping on the you don't know, you don't know what the hell you talk about, but that beat is fire. Oh, yeah, which song you say Drake is, and who? If you overdo it with the UK beats, then it's gonna start getting overused, and then it's gonna start, you know, fading away. You say it's Drake and who? What song? Really, every time I hear new, I heard some new UK joint yesterday. I said, "Well, I said, no, nah, I, I played that like eight times, like in a row." <laughs> Drake and Lil Dirt. I don't know who. Drake and Lil Dirt. What song you talking about by Drake? The the heady one, the Hanza. What does he look like? Hanza, Dubai. Oh, Dubai, okay. Dubai, the song. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. That beat is kind of it's kind of out there. When he had the whole uh the whole UK like gangsters like behind him and like I know what yeah, about. I know what you're talking about. That was a dope video. But yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that that's that island. Video, that's that island music. That uh UK, yeah, that's that UK. Here's the thing about Drake. He sp he can speak that that language and understand it. I see him. I see him speak on live with a pop pop. What is it? Pop card. Yeah. And he, pop, he, he, pop. he understood everything they were saying. He was talking to them, and I'm like, oh, so 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 when people be like, why does he you know uh take other people's language? I'm like, no, he actually speaks that. 
So I get confused well, you know, with that. You know, damn Jamaican. Just, I'm Jamaican. I ain't even no damn Jamaican. I'm like, what? <laughs> Well, this one has a more younger appeal. That's why most of the younger people like this album more, because Hit Boy, the way he did the beats, it's, it's a lot of it is unusual. I did like the, the Godfather song with um, Nas that he did. I think that was the best song on that album. To be oh, honest. yeah. And when it comes to Hit Boy, Hit Boy, he put a song with Nipsey Hussle on his Instagram. He need to drop that. With, with Big Sean? Nah, yeah, I don't, don't know if he got. Do we got permission to drop it? Nipsey Hussle rapping on it. I was like, whoa, what? What is this? Yeah, you need to drop this. I'm like, this is too fire. You need to push it over there. Oh yeah, like Hit Boy, man. Hit Boy ain't nothing to play. Hit Boy sat down, boy, oh, yeah. in that versus battle. Dude, he sat on that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I forgot about that. That that battle was forgotten too. People don't really talk about that. I haven't seen it, but yeah. I'm like, boy, wonder all you gonna do is just bring a Drake record. Like, Dude, like, oh, like what, once you play, that. once Hit Boy plays Niggas in Paris, what you going to? Speaking of battle, man, <laughs> yeah. this man had an actual rap battle um, with Matt Hoffa. I, had, but, I, I don't know if that was a real, I don't know, you know. Man, get, I don't even want to talk about that. I don't even want to talk about that. I didn't even I see even that. Like Matt Hoffa, so. I feel like there's a Kendrick album coming Apple. very soon. It should be Big Sean and shit. What the hell? Man, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear Jamea Eco and all them type of songs. I don't even know. And let Kendrick meditate in the mountains and somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> My thing is, why is Kendrick so quiet though? Well, what's going? On? Cause he making money. Why he ain't doing no features? He, not, he ain't doing no songs. Situation with uh, Cause what's going on with Scissors? Going on with Kendrick? Like this rap, rap album, like song. Going on with Jay's going on. Mm -hmm. So they 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 like they 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 to do with it. This is like a label. Yeah. Like, J. Cole, is he he's signed to Interscope? So his Interscope situation? Is he? No. Nah. He's with Top Dog he's and he's got his, uh, he got a new publishing company. I mean, a new publishing deal oh. now. So he's got a whole new publishing yeah. thing set up. So <clears throat> his distribution oh. is changing. So I thought he was on the, um, What's his name? Jimmy Iovine umbrella. Oh, Kendra? Yeah, yeah, he wears yeah. it, right? Yeah. I think that's how he be winning all his awards. Yeah, but see, here's the thing. He wants to, you know, that's why he's doing movie soundtracks. He's making more off movie soundtracks than he did off the damn album. See? Oh, damn. Yeah. yeah. Right. He got paid. He got paid about. He made over four million dollars off the Black Panther. Oh man, and that's definitely true. <laughs> yeah, like, right. So because that movie was big, though. Yeah, he got another. He got paid one point two for his song being one song. I think he did like two songs or one song on. Uh, Another movie soundtrack. He done made about twelve million dollars just off movie soundtracks. See, that's what people don't realize. When you get moved, you get paid, you getting a check for the rest of your life when you do a movie soundtrack. Yeah, yeah so why is there not like a lot of hip hop soundtracks like you know, back in the days, like above the rim and and juice and stuff like that? 
Because get rich or die trying. That soundtrack was amazing. Oh yeah. Because the hood movies, the hood movies aren't promoted like that anymore. They're not promoted with soundtracks anymore. They don't. Most of them come now. They not even going to the movie theater. They I going mean, straight had, to video yeah, and stream. Trying, you had the notorious soundtrack from the movie. Yeah, you had it's Above the Rim, Murder Was the Case soundtrack. You had Sunset yeah. Park. You know, everybody. Oh, yeah, I can't lie. That's Sunset Park soundtrack is fire. Which word? I can't lie. That was Sunset inspired. Park. Um, yeah, that Murder Was the Case soundtrack. Sunset Park. I like the Wash soundtrack. The Wash soundtrack was pretty good. Yep. Cool. But that's where the money yeah. used to be. Whenever a black film came out, they made their money off the soundtrack. The soundtracks would come in and make all the money. That's why Death Row yeah. started making all the money extra because they was getting movie soundtrack deals. So they were making... Yeah, above the, the Rim. Yeah, they had Above the Rim. They had another movie soundtrack. They did the Friday soundtrack. Right. They was oh, on yeah. there. Right. What's my other joint? How to Be a Player? Yeah. <laughs> How to be a oh, player yeah, soundtrack. We make everybody know that I am the man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta listen Yo, to that. That was my body that. That was my joint. Yep, the Don't Be a Menace soundtrack. I don't even remember that. Yeah. I don't remember what happened. Uh, That's the one that got the loonies on there. Shoot, even Fifty got his uh, songs on Power. He got he got his deal and all. He have their songs on it. Right. The but that's, exactly. That's different, but, but it was he, he never season. put it out in a trap soundtrack form. Oh um, yes, yeah, oh yes, he did. He put, did. <laughs> he put it, it out in a streaming form. Fifth and made season. millions off that song. <laughs> Yeah, mm. yeah. That's one of the best. Out, yo, that's considered one of the best intros in TV history. Like that's, that's a, like up there with like French Prince of Bel Air. Like that's like up there. Yeah. In hey, Zeno, do you, do you think Fifty Cent should do more for um Uncle Murder's career right now? Well, that's no. the thing. What yeah. can you do? <laughs> it's Wait, what you say? Already Zeno? over. All he's known for is the wrap up. That's it. I mean, yeah, yeah that's the thing. Know, Uncle Murder is great, cares. but Uncle Murder. Nah, is that, no, that last oh. that, that last album was dope. No, no I'm talking. No, I'm talking about like yeah, come bro, outside, like, from, like the public, like yeah. Drew. I know about the album, like the whole gang outside with we outside. That was my joint, but yeah, that was my joint. But I'm just saying, like he got reduced to like I don't know. It's like yeah, because when Tax Stone, like, because he got like Tax Stone and Uncle Murder been. Like they had that little thing like a few years ago. And well, the COVID, they, they, COVID they, stuff. He basically called him a struggle rapper. I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, the thing I mean, about it is, is, is that Uncle Murder getting money. <laughs> He'll find yeah, a way for yeah. Uncle Murder to get money. But the thing is, is that the way the game is now, you can't advertise somebody whose name is Murder. You know, yeah, so that's not to call him U M. Like, right? They called him. Uh, they called him Uncle M U M. You know, it was it was just not working. You know, it's yeah, just yeah. they couldn't even go with it. No other name. He just Uncle Murder. Everybody gonna still Uncle call Murder. him Uncle Murder. Yeah, Uncle Murder. He said he was gonna change his name. He was trying to change his name to his real name, but he should not let him do that. You just uh, you had Uncle Murder, you had Uncle Murder trying to become you, and then you had Mano putting on glass, putting on geeky glasses to try to be like, yo, I'm a cool guy. I'm like, stop it, Mano. <laughs> hey, Ma Mano got off on the yellow tape. Hey, I like, I like Mano. Yeah, yeah Mano got off on the yellow tape. I, I can't, I can't fret on that. He got off on that. I I hey, Cino, did you hear that? That Freddie Jason with a fabulous and J um Jadakus? Yeah. Uh, Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Who, who do you think went off on that? Uh, Jada to me, but they both got off. Like, they both did their verses. Yeah. They both got yeah, off, but Fabulous. Jada to me. Jumped that off with. It's getting Fab, I can't lie. Fab, Fab came hard. I was like, whoa. Yeah. You know about the intro? Yeah, Fab went on. That was the intro. Yeah, oh, that was the term pookie out here. <laughs> no, no, Jada Kiss came mm. in, it was big as slaughter. <laughs> he killed that whole ending, and then the sound oh my gosh, I was like, Whoo. Yeah, because they switched yeah, the beat. They... I wish they could redo that versus because I don't know, like, 
Fab was like Ooh, just yeah. too drunk to like really like know what was going on. Like Fab, his DJ, wow, oh, killed it. Yeah, I was DJ like, why you this, you know, I cursed him out on Twitter. I cursed him out. I was like, man, <laughs> why, why you play this, this, and then, and then he tried to go. All right, now y'all playing with my name, come to this club. No. Responded with uh with the all about the Benjamins and I was like oh damn it's 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 officially I mean it, it was already over at that point but he he got killed that was probably the worst one not the worst but that was the one that was like man it was a landslaughter it was like man our landslide yeah For sure Joe, 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 Joe Button tried to call Fab but Fab didn't pick up the phone <laughs> <laughs> he know he was gonna get it because <laughs> that that Fab thing because I was like what is going on because Fab got like mad records like. I don't know how they understand. I know they <laughs> anyway, but Fab got records. Yeah, but see, mostly Fab stuff is mixtapes. You know, Fab got sales so up, man. When Fab first came out, with like cuffing like, season, that was, that's that's what that's why. Yeah, I like his cuffing season, you know, and all that. Oh, cuffing season with Fifty Cent. Yeah, these hoes keep calling. I ain't picking up. Yeah, that whole mixtape. These hoes keep calling. I ain't picking up. They made La Marina hot. They made La Marina hot on that. Who was the mixtape squad he had at the time? Yeah, that was fire. Soul tapes. Soul tapes. Um, the the funeral competition, and then he had a the the. I'm so raw. Yeah, it was. There's no competition. The soul tapes and summertime shootout series. I like that. Yeah, better mixed that's that's so like, was fire. There's no competition. Was it that that was like, like yeah, no competition was fire. But does he have better mixtapes than Lloyd Banks? Yes. <laughs> and I love Lloyd Banks, but Fab Fab. When it comes to mixtape classes, I always got Fab and Meek Mill up there. Like Fab, when it, Fab and Meek Mill. Uh, Meek Mill was mixtape. Yeah, Meek Mill was cool. It was. Yeah, his good. his mixtapes. I can't lie, his mixtapes are sometimes better than his albums. That's that was um Meek Mill's yeah. problem too. Meek, oh, Brandon like, said bombs. Was he was like bombs is a good a, a really good album with that championships. Absolutely, yeah. Meek got like three good albums. He got wins and losses, the championships, then the first album. The second album was, for some reason, everybody gravitated towards that because that was the commercial album. I'm like, right. I'm like, no, like I, I liked it, but it was like, yeah, not not better than Winston, like not better than his other three. 